we're on and uh, live. Well, live for me anyway. Um, so I have a, a thing. I have the opportunity to go to Sun Valley in the not too distant future. And uh, there's a hill climb there that is like awesome. Uh, in the backside of Bald Mountain there, um, just beautiful stuff. And I thought, well, uh, next time I'm there, I want to do this because it'd be great training for my VK coming up, my vertical kilometer coming up in October at uh, Squaw Valley. And I thought, well, let's do it because it's uh, like 3,000 feet in 1.8 miles, which is just freaking awesome. Uh, here it is right here. Now, I had to dig this up in my Strava, uh, which was complicated because at the time I did not have this uh, the Sun Valley tag here. So I, after I finally found it, I added this in here added the Sun Valley tag. So now it's easier for me to find. And the segment I want to do is this one here. I'll uh, go segments and uh, the BHC. That's the one I want to do. And as you can see, it's uh, 3,120 feet in 1.73 miles, averaging 34%. And the last time I did it, it took me one hour and 25 minutes, which uh, you know, because of the steepness of this, they're actually not calculating a VAM. Um, so uh, the course record is uh, 35 minutes. That's <laughs> that's impressive. That that impressive. You want to like see somebody on a dirt bike doing that, right? Uh, anyway, <clears throat> uh, so what I want to do is I want to get. Uh, you can't in Strava. You can't go to the segments. Let's. Just do this, so, you know, what the heck. So view overall leaderboard. Wake up. And uh, so there's no way to download the um, the the, uh, the file for it, whether it's a gpx.fit, um, whatever it is. There's no way to do that. So you have to download your own thing. Go back to my uh, thing. So you have to download the entire thing, which you can do right here as a gpx. And that is uh, super wonky too, um, because I don't care about the rest of it. I'm not going to do this eight mile. This was eight miles because uh, this downhill section here is just like long and convoluted. And it was a lot of fun running through the trees and uh, dodging mountain bikes and stuff. But um, I just want to do the, the vertical ascent here. And I, I'm probably going to walk down it. I'm probably going to go up and down. It'd be cool to do like two or three laps. But, you know, what are the odds of that happening? Um, although I'm, I'm, I'm feeling more fit now than I was back then. Um, still, uh, we'll see. Anyway, so what I need to do is get the date, which was Sunday, August 4th in 2019, because, uh, trimming a GPX is painful, but trimming a fit is easy. I can trim that out of the fit. So if I go to training peaks and, uh, Go ahead and go to 2019, and then August, and then 4th, and there it is. So we can find the file and download the file, right? And cancel. Okay, now we go to Fit File Tools, uh, which is like one of my favorite um, places for fit. So, uh, so a section remover and select the file. Oh, um, it's a uh, it, uh, painting peaks you, you download as a zipped file at .gz. So, uh, extract here, which you can't see because it's in another window. Sorry about that. And then uh, dot .fit. There we go. And I want imperial units because I'm an American, a, a, a United Statesian. <laughs> and, and go. Now, sometimes this can be super wonky. Wow. Uh, this is a jacked up fit file for sure. Um, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Time minutes, time minutes, 
if I come in here to the 90 minute range, which is right here, oh well, that's uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cut some of this out because, uh, okay, so just came back, I'm trying a software called GPS Babel uh, to see if that'll do the conversion here. So, um, there we go. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Even though I don't know exactly how to use this, we might as well have some fun. Okay, so file names, uh, which you can't see the file open window. GPS, okay. Options. Um, all right, nothing to worry about that. Now, oh, translation options. Filters, more options. Review of Google Maps. File. Um, Dot fit file name downloads and uh, <clears throat> okay, well, it looks like it converted well enough in here. So now, yeah, go back to reset, select file, BHC prefit, imperial, go. Oh, hey, let me, uh, close this so you can see what I just did. Okay, so from the time. Oh, looks like I took a break there. What was I doing standing around uh, stuff, right? That must might explain some of that. Okay, go back to here. Okay. So go. Click here to download your file. in here and yeah this is like nonsense so I'm gonna go back and delete this okay now let's add a workout upload from file choose file bit file tool three import go to dashboard August of 2019 August 4th 1.98 generic So from 5,800 to 8,900 over the course of uh, 1.98 miles is like, dude, that's it. That's what I wanted. Oh, that was painful. You under understand how freaking painful that was. Move this to the front here. This is my um, phone set in my Sunto app. Sunto app. So now we go to routes and add okay so yeah I have to take that and convert it to a GP freaking X. So let's go back to Babel <laughs> and format Fit, file names, fit file tools, three fit, GPX, file name, HC trimmed. Okay. 
and there it is in Google Maps. Sorry if you can't see that. You upload, trimmed, and now we go back to my phone and trimmed, download. DHC trimmed. It worked. Oh, it freaking worked. Done. Done. Don't touch anything. Done. Use and watch. Save. My library of routes. All right. So, uh, sorry about how that played out. Um, how long that took. But that's sometimes what you gotta do when you're that's sometimes what you gotta do when you're doing nothing that's not the normal thing. I wanted that freaking route. That's how I trimmed it. Uh painful uh, GPS babel. Let me um get rid of this window here so that uh so I can show you that. Um this is the wrong window. Here we go. GPS babel. Um I'll put the link somewhere in one of my blogs, gpsbabel.org, gpsbabel.org. This is a download page. It's free, open source software, works in just about anything. And uh, it, and despite some minor wonkiness, I, I liked it, it was, it was great. Um, I think maybe we'll do another tutorial or something on that later, but right now that is the process. You take one of my previous runs, and the way that works is you could actually do that with just about anybody's run. Um, it's easy enough to find uh, GPXs drifting around on Strava. So if somebody else has done the run you want or the segment you want, you can extract it from theirs. Anyway, thanks a lot for hanging out with me and putting up with my slowness and erraticness and back and forthness because this was a wonky thing to do. Oh, and be sure to subscribe and uh, watch the entire freaking playlist for incline treadmill training.